Hi guys, Marvin here from shopsadapage.com and today we're going to do an unboxing and review of the IROX K65M mechanical keyboard. A reliable keyboard that is good to go out of the box and uses the popular Cherry MX switches. With that said, let's get into it. Alright guys, let's unbox the IROX K65M mechanical keyboard. So we have the key features here on the left side and what we have here is with Cherry MX bronze switch. In front, we have a preview of the keyboard itself. It is a full-size keyboard with dedicated numpad. At the side of the box, we have the IROX logo and the K65 model name. And then on the other side, basically the same thing. On one side, we have here the language which is Chinese and the switch type which is brown. And then on the other side, it looks like what we have here is the red LED backlit variant. Now at the back of the box, we have here all the features, specifications, as well as package contents and system requirements of this keyboard. We also have here a preview of the key features that we are going to discuss later. Alright, let's see what comes in the package. The packaging feels pretty premium with the slide-in cover as you can see here. And then on the main packaging right here, we have another preview of the product, variant, and key features. Basically the same details as the slide cover, just different design. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice out of the box is a plastic cover which I always find useful as a dust cover as well. Next, we have the massive keyboard itself. Let me just remove it out of the box here. So as you can already tell, the keyboard is non-removable, which I always say is not an issue at this large form factor, unlike with compact keyboards that a detachable cable is a must. Inside the box, you also have here a paperwork. If I have to give a hard guess, I think this is the warranty card. And then we have the user manual written in both English and Chinese. Aside from that, there's nothing else here. We do not have any keycap puller or anything else inside the box. Now at first touch, the IROX K65M has a very stealthy look to it as you can see. And it doesn't scream gamery at all, but it's also not that minimal in terms of design. More on that later. It has a weight of around 937 grams and the build quality feels tight, but it flexes a bit because I feel like the bottom housing is a little bit hollow in terms of overall structure. But the massive metal backplate helps with the rigidity of the entire keyboard. Speaking of metal backplate, it goes all around the keyboard and it also drops a bit to the front side. Flipping it in front, we can see a better view of its profile with floating keys design, which means you can see half of the switches. Looking at its side, we can see here that the bottom housing is slightly slanted in shape and the metal backplate also overflows a bit on the side. The keycaps are cherry profile which is a bit shorter than the typical OEM profile and is considered as one of the most comfortable profile to type with. Now looking at the back side, we have three cable routing channels which is good in case you're not planning on using the flip out stand so that the keyboard can stay flat on the surface. Flipping it all over at the back, we have four rubber feet, two flip out stands with rubber tip as well, the technical information and certifications at the center, and a QC pass sticker right here. We can also see here the three cable routing channels and how the metal backplate protrudes to the front side of the keyboard. Now back in front, looking at the cable, it is not braided, but at least it has a rubber cap for the USB plug and is gold plated. In terms of the layout, it is a full-size keyboard with complete numpad, arrow keys, nav cluster, and function rows up top. The layout of the keycaps is ANSI standard, so replacing the keycap should be a piece of cake. At the upper right corner, we have a nice embossed IROX logo right here with a bit of texture on it. Below that logo, we have 4 LED indicators for num lock, caps lock, scroll lock, and windows key lock. As you can see, the design is quite basic, and if without the Chinese sub-characters, I think it could have been more minimalistic. It has large shine through fonts on the alpha keys with printed Chinese characters, and smaller fonts on the modifiers. We also have some sub-legends for the secondary functions of some keys. Now, when it comes to the actual keycap itself, this keyboard uses double shot PBT keycaps, which means there is a separate material for the legends and it will not fade away over time. The good thing about this is that since it is made of PBT plastic, it will also not shine that easily compared to the cheaper ABS plastic. The thickness of this particular keycap is around 0.8mm without the double shot molding and around 1.4mm including the double shot material. It also has this nice rough texture to it due to the nature of the PBT plastic. In terms of the switch, what we have here is the Cherry MX Brown switch in black housing variant. That's why as you can see, the LED of the keyboard is mounted on top. Cherry MX Brown is stacked out with an actuation force of 55 grams. The tactility of this switch is more pronounced than the gutter and brown, but is also significantly scratchier. And although it has a tactile bump, you can still definitely feel that grind especially before reaching the bump. I like the tactility but I don't like the overall feel. But in general, brown switch is a good middle ground between a loud and clicky blue switch and the relatively quiet linear red and black switch. Now when it comes to the stabilizers, unfortunately, even if this keyboard comes with pre lube stabs, it is still quite rattly especially with the spacebar. It has a significant amount of wobble on the spacebar as well as the modifiers like shift, enter, and backspace. 
By the way guys, I also reviewed the IROX M36 Pro Gaming mouse a while ago which you can check out here. It is a good partner to the K65M mechanical keyboard that we have right here. Alright guys, before we move on to the performance of this keyboard, let's check out first the different lighting effects of the IROX K65M mechanical keyboard. First, to lock all the keys, you can press F and press Escape as you can see here. And then to adjust the brightness, you just have to press F and press down or up arrow keys in 5 levels. You can also change the direction of the animation by pressing F and press left or right arrow keys. And then to change the speed of the animation, press F and press minus or F and press the plus sign. To turn on and off the illumination, press F and press green screen. And finally, to toggle between lighting effects, you can follow the legends on the nav cluster. So now let's cycle through all of them here. Aside from the available presets, you also have the option to create your own lighting configuration by pressing F and press any number. Then press F and press Ctrl, press Delete to start recording. Once the LED indicator starts flashing, you can now press the keys that you want to light up. And after you finish, press F and press Ctrl, press Delete again to save your settings. After that, you can access it by pressing F and press the corresponding number or by pressing F and press Delete as it remembers your last configured settings for fast switching. Now, here's how the illumination looks like when all the lights in this room are turned off. As you can see, even though the LEDs on this keyboard is top mounted, it is not that bright unfortunately, but still quite substantial for dim environments like this and should not be a problem at all. Now before I forgot, here's a quick size comparison between the IROX K65M and the 60% compact keyboard so you'll get a better understanding of how much space it takes on a desk. And now as usual, let's do a quick typing test so that you can have an idea of how the Cherry MX Brown sounds on this keyboard. Moving on to the actual performance of this keyboard, in terms of NKRO, this keyboard actually has three anti-ghosting options. The first one is NKRO, which means it has full key rollover and will allow you to press all keys at the same time without conflicts. You can toggle that by pressing Fn plus Ctrl plus G. The next option is 6 key rollover, which you can toggle by pressing Fn plus Ctrl plus N. And the last one is the default setting, which you can toggle by pressing Fn plus Ctrl plus P, which also allows you to press at least 10 keys at the same time. Unfortunately, this keyboard doesn't have any software, so the customization is limited to the onboard settings which are mostly for lighting effects. But if you're a person that doesn't want any tinkering and just want to game on the go, then this should not be a problem. Now as for the typing experience, like I always say about brown switches, it is a good balance between a clicky and linear switch which is also a good starting point for your first mechanical keyboard. What I like about the Cherry MX Brown is the tactility and what I don't like about this is the rather scratchy feel, especially coming from a smooth Gatron Brown switch. It is easy to type with because you have perceivable feedback and it is also good for gaming. Speaking of gaming, I didn't have any issues with it. As I said, the Gatron Brown switch is also good for casual gaming, though it is highly advisable to go with linear or even speed switches when it comes to fast-paced FPS games. But for other types of games like RPG, MOBA, and even games that require accurate key presses like Osu, Brown Switch is a good option. It also helps the fact that this keyboard has all the keys that you need for gaming, especially the function rows up top without having to mess around with layers unlike with compact keyboards. 
So to conclude, the Arox K65M mechanical keyboard is a good option if you're looking for a decent full-size keyboard with good build quality, not only for the body itself but also with the default PBT keycaps and the original German-made Cherry MX switches. It is quite basic however in terms of overall features and without a software, but if you're someone who just like to get going without much tinkering, then this is definitely a good option for you. And there you have it guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to check the full article link below. And like I said earlier, I also reviewed the Arox M36 Pro Gaming Mouse, which is a good partner for this keyboard, so make sure to watch that one as well. Huge thanks to Arox for sending this in and hopefully they can finally find a local distributor here in the Philippines. For now, you can get this from the links below. Thank you for watching, subscribe if you like this, and see you next time. Have a good day.